Testing, testing. Are you recording now, Audacity? Are you recording now? Because that'd be wonderful. Okay. So, something bad happened. Um, I did the mission where I had to find the treasure ship and sink it. Which I did. It took forever to find one, but I did it. Then I went against Montalban for the first time. Failed miserably, so you're not missing much. But, um... Yeah, everything failed to record. And I got blue screened at one point. So, yeah, there's that. So all you missed, really, is the treasure ship. Everything else is going to be the same, really. Everything else is going to be new. So, this will probably be the final installment of Pirates. Unless you guys, I don't know, ask for more. If you want me to do some wacky missions or something. I don't know. Just let me know, but unless that happens, this will probably be the final installment of the series. Where we go against the evil Montalban. And in preparation for this, I have taken on a few more ships. And I have made myself a small army. Because this battle is difficult. It's surprisingly difficult. Days of fruitless... Ah. He said it was... Oh, right. It's more down here. Yeah, that's right. I'm not stupid, I swear. I'm just bad with maps. Apparently. Heave ho all together Hoist the colors high Heave ho, thief and beggar, never shall we die. We're here. You have tracked the evil Marquis de la Montaban to his fortified hideout. An army of Indian mercenaries blocks your path. Well, I have 326 men now. I should have decent number of troops on the field. That bulge, though. Okay, I was expecting more, but all right. That's... That's cool, I guess. Should have more buccaneers, at least. One, two, three... Three? Oh, well... Not as many as I was hoping for, but... That's fine. I'm cool with that. You stay there. Go there. We're all pretty much going to be flooding into here. I need to keep my tro my troops close together because... Man, Montalban's forces, they... If your troops split up, they will murder you. They are vicious. Vicious, vicious mercenaries. You think Montalban would give them some kind of armor or something, though? They're still in loincloth and all that. Oh. To get you up here. Get you here. Open fire on the archers. Okay. And now we wait. Okay, let's see. They have scouts. Archers. Ooh, archers. Need to get rid of those. Archers are bad. I'll be splitting up a little bit, but we're still close enough together that I won't get murdered. Open fire. Open fire. Weaken all their troops. Open fire on these guys again. Okay, this is good. This is good. Last time I did this, I was getting massacred. But you have no idea. Just brutally massacred. It was horrible. 
Holy shit, flank attack, morale, height. Wow. Now, the actual fight with Montalban is going to be difficult because... This playthrough took me a little while. So, our character is aged and in fairly poor health. So, our sword fighting is slow. I did get a new fencing shirt, though, so that should up our speed a little bit. The broken defenders scatter and run. Dead ass. I got a little confused by this scene because it looks like we're taking over, but we haven't even seen Montalban yet. Cocky SOB. Here we go. The years have not been kind to either of us, Montalban. That much is obvious. Oh shit. Okay, our speed's a little better than last time I attempted this. Hail, nah. Hail to the nah. You are not beating me again. That was like the first sword fight I ever lost, and it was horrible. Had a pretty cool exit, though. Okay, I'm gonna have to become the Reactor again. Apparently that is a legit strategy in this game. Ah, shit. You reach the safety of the jungle, blah, blah, blah. Oh, that is infuriating. We'll do this again. I will defeat you, Montalban. I will have your head. For what you did to my virtual family that I didn't bother to rescue in its entirety. Okay, Montalban, I'm back. And your ass shall be mine. Come on! Oh, you know the drill, Montalban. Ah, uh, that exit, though. Montalban, I will have your ass mounted above my fireplace. One of these days. They just gotta be a lot smarter. Not my strong suit. Come on. Yes! Yes! Fucking yes! Finally got him! Oh my god! Yes! Kill him like Anakin killed Dooku. Just slice that head right off. Do it! Ugh. I mean... Golly gee, I'm good at this game. That only took me one shot. You are a master tactician, sir. Truly, I have done your family a terrible injustice. Yeah, no kidding. I give you 100,000 gold pieces, holy shit, which are rightfully yours. Among my crew are eight specialists of extraordinary skill. Henceforth, they will serve you. I myself will serve as your captain, as your cabin steward. Oh, <laughs> you're gonna be feeling my Scooby bird up your ass. And if you watch the first episode, you will know I do not mean surprise butt sex. It means Scooby, uh, scurvy boot. God, last episode I still messed it up. 
Oh, finally. I got him. I finally got him. I finally got him. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Oh. I finally got him. I'm so happy. You, you guys have no idea how mad I was getting at that battle. That took me way too long. Okay, so I'll end the game by retiring at the Florida Keys. Uh, I guess I'll give my final thoughts on the way there. I don't know if this game has credits or not. Overall, pretty fun game, actually. It gets really, really repetitive. But if you're playing on your own and you don't have to do commentary like I've had to do, it's actually not bad. It's a lot of fun. Um, there's a lot of stuff I could have done a lot better in this playthrough, to be honest. Like, you know, keeping my crew happy and not wanting to slice my head off. Um, let's see. I don't know. That's all I can say about the game, really, aside from the music's decent. I mean, they're mostly just variations of the same song, but, you know, they're entertaining. Um, I liked all the mechanics of the game. I wish that you getting extremely slow with age and poor health wasn't a thing. I mean, it's a cool mechanic and th on paper, but when you're playing, it's just... It's just awful. I mean, you saw that last battle. I was barely moving. Um, I loved being able to take over towns. I loved sinking all the ships. I loved going against some of the most notorious pirates in history, whether they were real ones or just legends. Uh, I'm not up to date on my American history, to be honest. <laughs> just sad because I'm American. I should know these things. Um, I don't know. I thought the humor in the game was great. Um, yeah, just a good game overall. It's I'm not too good with these final thoughts when it's all impromptu. I could write a review. I'd be giving it a lot more justice that way, but, you know. Actually, you know what? Just in case, if anyone wants me to do, I don't know, more of this sometime in the future... You know, do more missions, save more family members. Maybe they're having a hard time with the game and they want to see it done. I don't know why they'd come to me, but just in case. Hmm, excuse me. Just in case, I'll save there. And I will end the game here by dividing the plunder one last time. And we will retire from pirating after all these long years. I hesitated saying years because I'm like, wait, in real life it's only been a couple days or a couple weeks. But I don't know. I'm stupid. I, I run into that problem a lot. I am indeed a Scooby Bert. Are you sure you want to retire and end your career? Yes, it is time. Ooh, the Chronicles of... Magistrate Smitty Warbenjaeger. Ooh. You retire at the age of 36 in poor health. Yeah, that's not... happy so far. <laughs> you take up residence in the city of Florida Keys with the profession of magistrate. You are joined by your wife, the beautiful daughter of the governor of Florida Keys. Your title of French Marquise makes you an influential citizen. Your accumulated wealth of... 32,003 gold pieces and 1,400 acres oh, 1,400 acres of land provide you an extravagant lifestyle in a mansion near the town center. Vanquishing the evil Marquis de, de, de la Montaban remains the highlight of your career. You were able to rescue two of your missing family members. Joy is tempered with sadness as you live out your remaining years. Oh, well, that's... Kind of a bittersweet ending. Okay. Okay, so this tells you how far up or how far down you could have gone in the social status. Let's see. Pickpocket, pauper, clerk, fisherman, mortician. Oh, God. With all the people I killed, I may as well be a mortician. 
Bartender, constable, butler, farmer, parson. I don't know if they put farmer over butler. I think butlers were paid more, weren't they? I don't know. Anyway, parson, merchant, innkeeper, shipwright, fencing master, magistrate, surgeon, mayor, bishop, and governor. Huh, cool. Rank, uh, I got a major in Spanish, Marquise here, no rank in those two. Okay, fame 65, not sure what that means. Villain avenged, relatives rescued, two out of four. No lost cities found. Famous pirates I defeated. The only one I didn't beat was Blackbeard. I never ran into him. I wasn't exactly going out of my way. Okay, those are all the treasures I found. Romance. She never did put that shirt on. During your career, you have accomplished these bonus items. You defeated the Marquise. You retired as a French Count. You married a beautiful governor's daughter. You plundered 100,000 gold. You located 10 unique items. These accomplishments have earned you 34,000 doubloons, which you can use to unlock bonus content. Huh, cool. Um, well, if you guys want to see that bonus content, just let me know. I'll make a little extra bonus video of all the stuff I was actually able to unlock. I don't know if 34,000 is a lot in this game or not. Well, I will see you guys in the next Let's Play, and I've already had, I've already held a voting thing. Um, the next Let's Play is going to be Oddworld Abe's Exodus. I'm continuing from my first Let's Play. Hopefully this one will be a lot less awkward. See you then!